Hey guys, once again, it's LTB XL versus the mighty firecracker. Who will win? I already have my little firecracker set up in there. So let's uh, see what happens. Okay, the firecracker won again. Yep. Ha ha ha. So let's go inside, find out what's on the inside of that box. Okay guys, it's Francis here again, and uh, let's see what's inside September's um, Lucky Tackle Box. I think this is the XL, right? LTB does XL, or an MTB does Pro, I guess. So, anyway, let's let's take a look. Um, again, the house is beginning to smell like gunpowder. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what's inside. Now I've. Saw a few videos already. I kind of know a little bit on what to expect. So, uh, here's our bait card. And it looks like they're trying to promote a bunch of t-shirts too. So we'll put this aside because we're gonna need it. We have the uh, Lucky Tackle Box uh, sticker. This time it's in blue. That's neat. And it looks like they're going back to the uh, the yellow ticket or golden ticket. So um, probably I come to the 20th or the um, yeah 20th of this month. Um, get on the, their YouTube channel and see if you win something. Um, not sure what this is all about. Sinkers, good. Stinkers, bad. Um, we'll find out. And what's his next card? I have no clue. Oh, it's, they're, they're talking about top fall baits and a new contest. So, um, all right, the first, let's find the bait card. All right, what's first on the bait card? Uh, surprise bait win $500. Okay, let's go to something real, okay? Uh, let's see if I can get this back a bit. There we go. Catch 22, four inch. Thread fin. All right, let's see if we can find that. Oh, okay, I see it. And this is it. This is one of those baits. I'm not going to pull it out this time, but um, you run the line through the nose of the bait and then tie it to the um, the hooks. And um, in, in this case, it's a treble hook and there's a little magnet that holds on to the uh, treble hook so that when the fish bites, um, you know, you got the treble hook hooked in the mouth and this, um, the plastic part of the bait is kind of free flowing or whatever. And it's just a way to increase your, um, your hookup ratio, basically. All right, uh, what's next? Rage Swimmer, Striking Rage Swimmer. Here they are. Okay, um, looks like, um, let's see, what's the uh, 3.75 inches, and it looks like your basic Kai Tech wannabe. I'm not hacking on all these people who are trying to, um, you know, jump on the, the Kai Tech um, um, thing, but um, it's nice. It looks like a little shad, and uh, I bet you there might be some... Um, hooks to go along with this maybe. We'll find out. What's next? Um, pocket Finum Worm. Okay. Okay, it's a Mr. Twister. Here we go. If this one is, and what's neat about this, 
is they have some uh, rigging instructions for you. So it's just a little worm with a curly tail. Let's see if I can pull one out. Um, no real big time smell to it, but this is it. And it looks like it has a lot of little pockets. I'm not quite sure what these little pockets, it's not gonna show up very well, I don't think. Can you see them? I think you can see them. But anyway, that's that. Um, again, I can't really tell if there's a smell or not. And does it say anything about these little pockets? No, it doesn't. So I'm not quite sure if it's to help it, you know, give it a different, um, you know, action in the water or whatever. And so I would um, Texas rig this and, or Carolina or Mojo. What's next? Feather treble put by Mustad. Okay, I think I saw that in here. It's just one. You know, we've seen these on our poppers, you know, on the back end of the popper. So if you need to redo or if you need another uh, treble hook on your popper or something, um, you know, you can use this for a replacement. Uh, I think I heard some other YouTube angler talk about how he uses them on his um, jerk baits. So uh, that's that. What's next? Um, live target crankbait. Oh, what? Well, all right. We've seen these before. It's the bait balls. And I probably have this one too, but the one I have, I think it's just a regular um, um, crankbait. This is a square bill here. So let's see if there's any other info on it. I'm trying to see if there's a, um, dives three to four feet, okay? So, we'll move on. What's next? A riot tantrum, new for 2017. Okay. That's these baits. And uh, they look like little crawls. I'm gonna pull one out for you. There's no weird smell or anything like that. I think they would be um, good little chunks for a trailer on your jigs. And I guess you could do, uh, they're kind of small. I mean, if you do a really small Texas rig, you, could, you know, you could probably do that. All right, uh, a sample of Good Wipes. Squeaky clean tush. Maybe that's what they were talking about earlier. I don't know, but um, it'll just help you take care of your business out in the woods, right? <laughs> um, there's one more thing I see in here, and it's fish hound um, lipless crankbait. Let me take this out. It's, it's Hopefully I don't stab myself like I usually do. It's solid, it's not soft or anything. It has a uh, nice copper, I mean dark back, and then a copper head. Why is it, there we go. Now we're focusing. And oh, getting ready to stick myself. And you got that dot here. And uh, so nothing special, but it's just a little, you know, copper looking shad thing. Okay, and then we have the Fish Hound Magazine. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here to talk about. Um, okay, we have an article on um, sunfish and crawfish. Something to look forward to. Oh, um, Here we talk about riggings for that uh, Kytec wannabe. And let's see what else. Okay, we're talking, and then the next way, the next pages are talking about that um, bait ball and the um, that little lipless crankbait.
And is there anything else? Oh yeah. Um, you know, some other people on social media concerning anglers to follow. So guys, that's about it for me. Uh, until next time, y'all take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.